Smiling. But uh, musically spoken, what's the what's the big influence here? Musically, has it something to do with the that the Beach Boys started surfing here? Yeah, well, it's a lifestyle more than anything, you know. I've been thinking about that a lot lately because uh, because I there have been a lot of articles and things that, that identify me with the LA sound. It's sort of like me and Jackson Brown and the Eagles and um, Warren Zevon most recently and John David Souther and um, and recently I've come into contact with a lot of English musicians, you know, and I was trying to decide what it was that made us different from them, you know, and there seems to be a little bit more, uh, now let's see, the English and the East Coast attitudes seem to be kind of cynical and at the extreme very snide, and the attitude in music here seems to be very uh, um, serious and earnest and kind of despairing, you know. I mean, it's at, at its most self-indulgent, it's very kind of too serious, you know. Like, what if we all turned into, we all started out so innocently, and now we're, uh, uh, now we've all been, um, we've all been turned into cynical rock and roll stars, you know. <laughs> Which gets a little silly, you know, at, at its extreme, but actually I'm glad there's some English people coming in. We need some new blood in this town, you know. We're starting to get stale. We're having reruns. <laughs> Isn't it getting dangerous when all people here work together? I mean, could not that uh, come out in a sort of uh, universal sound? I mean, that uh, everybody's going to sound the same as... Uh... It's only dangerous if you don't realize that that's happening. You know, all of us are reaching out for other musical influences all the time. Jackson, um, Jackson is...